You there! Shay, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Go ahead, Master Cormac. Shoot the door. Work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. And that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. If I mess with this, maybe I can break the whole system. I saw 
the man who started it. He's there. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's got to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned a whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British army 
and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? A whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will, uh... Forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Yes, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my uh, former allegiance? They're mines! Avoid the fire! Find 
you that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicide? wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct, and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned the Grand Master. Oh yes, the Grand Master of the Colonial Right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded. The reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stay home with his business. Hey! Ready to fire, sir! To fire! Fire! Catch it! Fire! 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 the corpses and gallants! Make them rue the day they crossed us! King Louis. Either. Though I suspect the king's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. And a Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. Oh, belly riding. Oh, belly riding. 
Old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, master of a drogue. Old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, master of a drogue, bound for a team. Old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, master of a drogue. Old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, has a nice cigar. Old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley. Oh, Missy Riley, little Missy Riley. Oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley. Oh, Missy Riley, oh, Billy Riley. Had a pretty daughter, but we can't get at her. Oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley. Had a pretty daughter, oh, Billy
Touch the red! Closely, Captain. 
shot.
to Tiffany's I took her. I did not mind expense. I bought her two gold earrings and they cost me 15 cents. And it's a way, you Sandy, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls can you dance the poker. Since she's yet I to sailor, now see me home, you may. But when we reached the college door,
catch some wind. Take it down. 